Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christine speaking. Today is April 28, 2021, and I hope everybody is doing well. And so uh, I have a message from our Lord Jesus Christ to share with you. But before I go ahead, I want to confess with my tongue that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is God and Savior, and there is none other. Uh, what I mean by saying there is none other, brothers and sisters. Uh, there is a holy trinity for those who don't know. God the Father, God the Son, and Holy Spirit, and these three persons are one God. And so there is only one God. And so uh, today uh, our Lord Jesus Christ sent me to talk about uh, the fake hair. Uh, first of all, I want to share with you my personal experience uh, with fake hair before I share with you a dream that I had from the Lord Jesus uh, on April 19, 2021, just a few nights ago. And so um, I don't know if you, you have seen uh, my all my videos, but some of my videos, I wear the fake hair, and so brothers and sisters, do not judge me. <laughs> Instead of judging me, pray for me. Um, and I know that some people will say, "Wow, uh, a woman of God will never wear uh, fake hair." No, don't say that. I do not think that you are in a good position to say that kind of things uh, because God used me to serve him knowing that I was wearing the fake hair, brothers and sisters. And I believe there is a reason why he allowed me to, to serve him even though I was wearing those fake hair. And so do not judge. Instead of judging, pray. Pray for uh, for us. If you have never uh, wear the fake hair, that is great for you. And so uh, uh, pray for uh, our brothers and sisters that are going to listen to this message because uh, many, many people uh, wear this fake hair today and uh, the Lord is not pleased with that brothers and sisters because uh, he revealed to me how dangerous and how unclean these fake hair are before his holy eyes and brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God is all about the holiness. Nothing unclean will enter the kingdom of God. Uh, so I want to share with you what happened to me uh, a year and a half ago because um, I used to wear the fake hair. Uh, in the past, I wore the fake hair for so long, and um, about a year and a half ago, uh, I had two dreams. The Lord gave me two dreams about this fake hair I was wearing almost every day. And so, in one dream, uh, I saw I saw the lights coming out from one of uh, the hair I used to wear. And brothers and sisters, this was really disgusting, seeing the lights coming out from one of those hair I was wearing. And uh, a few weeks later, I had the same dream. I saw again the lights coming out of one of uh, uh, 
those hair I used to wear. And in addition to that, um, every time I wore those hair, I had a terrible headache. I used to suffer the terrible headache almost every day, brothers and sisters, until one day I woke up in the morning and uh, I heard a small voice inside of me telling me to, to throw all hair I had away. And the same small voice told me not to give those hair to anybody, just to throw them away. And it took me one day to, to decide. And, uh, and uh, at that time, I decided to throw, to throw them away brothers and sisters. And from that moment, my terrible headache was gone. Praise the Lord, Jesus Christ. Because if I did not listen to that small voice inside of me, probably this was the Holy Spirit. And also, if the Lord did not give me this two dreams, very, very bad dreams, I will not have uh, made that decision, brothers and sisters. And so uh, the Lord showed me that these uh, fake hair are not clean before his holy eyes. These fake hair that uh, we wear, we don't know where they came from. We don't know who touched them. We don't know what is behind those hair, especially these human hair. Uh, I believe that there are, some, there are demons behind these fake hair, brothers and sisters. So, I hope this message is going to uh, help you to make decision because this is very serious. The kingdom of God is all about holiness. With this fake hair that are not clean before God's eyes, we are not going to enter the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, this is very, very, very serious. And now I want to share with you the dream that I had on uh, April 19, 2021, just a few nights ago. It looks something very serious was happening. And I believe this was the rapture because I saw people running from everywhere. They were panicking. It was chaos. People were seeking uh, the place to go. And uh, I hear people saying, oh, uh, we want to get out of here. And within a second, we, uh, I found myself in a big place. And this place looked like it was an airport. And uh, inside of this place, there were many, many people and also in this place, uh, there were many barriers. And in each barrier, I saw a man in a uniform, a man in a white uniform. And this man had a book with a list of questions. And he was calling each person in order to pass the barrier, the person had to respond correctly to all questions, and many did not pass, brothers and sisters. And I was there waiting for my turn, 
And then suddenly, this man in uniform called me. I went, and then he said to me, Woman, uh, you here? And then while I was just uh, thinking what to, uh, to tell him, I saw one of, uh, one of my hair that I used to wear before me. And then this man said to me again, he said this, don't you have your natural hair? And then while I was just thinking, uh, trying to respond to him, the dream ended. And which means he did not let me get in, brothers and sisters. So the next morning I woke up, I went into prayer, seeking God's explanation. I wanted to uh, hear from the Lord Jesus uh, about this dream and what he wanted me to share with you, brothers and sisters. I asked the Lord, Lord, what, what is the message? And he said this to me, go and share what you saw with your brothers and sisters. And this was the end. And so, brothers and sisters, I just want, I know this message might offend uh, some of you, but please forgive me. This is not a judgment. This is a warning because um, the scripture, the scripture tell us that uh, the end of all things is near. Uh, see 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7. And also, brothers and sisters, I believe that these fake hair, with this fake hair, you, we are at risk of losing our internal life. And so, brothers and sisters, make choice. If you, you wear this fake hair or you have something else, seek God right away and uh, see what he has to, to tell you. But with this fake hair, this fake hair are unclean things and within this fake hair, we are not going to enter the kingdom of God. This is a very, very, very serious. Um, so in this dream, this man in uniform said to me, don't you have your natural hair? So I'm giving, I'm giving to you that question as well. Don't you have your natural hair? And so, why are you wearing this fake hair, knowing that within this fake hair, you might lose your internal life? The scriptures say that it's better to enter the kingdom of God with one eye instead of having two eyes in a bang throne into the fire for her, brothers and sisters. You have a choice to make. Um, I am asking you to share this message with our brothers and sisters, and who knows, maybe some of you are going to make a decision and, and just throw away this fake hair because it's all about the holiness, this very, very last day. By the way, the Lord Jesus Christ is about to return. We don't know the day and the hour, but we are in the season. At any day now, things are going to change very quickly. And so, get ready every day. Pray and watch. 
I also ask you to seek God, to bring every God, everything you have to God for discernment before you make any decision. I just wanted to share this with you. And so, God bless you.